Hello world, this is JDP with a small demonstration of the new flight computer in uh, Remote Tech 2. To demonstrate the computer, I'm going to use this, uh, well, uh, the satellite setup. We have a satellite and a basic launcher. Now the satellite itself has these two omnidirectional antenna, two dishes, a battery and a couple of solar panels for power. Now the launch stage, um, that's pretty basic. I use these two dipoles for uh, communication within the atmosphere. Now they're very good for, well, exactly that. They are on by default and they don't tend to fly off. So, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to keep my hands off the keyboard. I'm not going to use the, uh, the controls directly. I'm going to use only the flight computer. So, without further ado, let's get to it. And some obligatory waiting. And a bit more. And there we go. Um, see, we have a connection through the dipoles here, so we're going to open up uh, the flight computer. There are a lot of buttons here. We're going to ignore most of them for now and concentrate on these three. That's uh, pitch, heading, and roll. It's set to uh, the uh, default rotation that your uh, ship has when you launch it. So we can just engage this by marking one of the fields here, pressing return, and engaged. If we open up the queue, we can see that we are in fact holding 90, 90, 90. And there's a small display bug here um, to be fixed in the future. So we're all set up. Uh, the flight computer will keep everything headed the way it should be. And we're off, slowly but surely. And I'm a bit impatient, so I'm gonna time warp through a lot of this, prepare for the turn. I'm not pressing enter yet. And go down. Stage. And turn. A bit more physical. Yes. Let's see. Is. I'm gonna go very very shallow just to uh, showcase how you can use the flight computer to do a maneuver when you're out of contact. Whoops. Things are going a bit fast. So. Let's switch to the satellite first. I extend the antenna and the solar panels. I've just set them up to an action group. We can stage, fire a bit more. Just push our apoapsis way away from KSC. Now this isn't an effective, uh, well efficient, that is, uh, launch profile, but it's one that works uh, for the demonstration. You see, when we reach the apoapsis to do our circular station burn, we're going to be too far away from KSC. We won't have a line of sight. So the flight computer will have to do everything on its own here. So, we set up a maneuver like we usually would. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's more or less circular. Now, the flight computer can inter uh, integrate with the maneuver node system to an extent. You can tell it to uh, orient the ship towards the uh, burn vector here by pushing node, going into node mode, and orienting towards the vector here. Now once it's oriented, it's very important that you put it into kill rot and kill rotation, because it, it tends to mess up the burn if you don't. So take some readings we need to uh, have a delta v of 256.5 meters per second so we put the throttle field over here at full throttle punch in 256.5 meters per second and we need to burn in six minutes 10 seconds let's say that so six minutes 10 seconds push return now that's the total delay, 6 minutes, oh, 6 minutes, 10 seconds, not 5. Now, 6 minutes, 10 seconds here, 
So when we push burn here, it's not gonna send the it's not gonna act on the signal immediately. It'll wait until a total of six minutes, ten seconds from the time I press enter, and I do that now. You can see it's counting down, and from now on it'll do everything on its own. We can even time warp and it'll drop out of warp. I'm not touching the keyboard now. It's dropping out. It's circle rising. And... Boom! There we are! Circularized orbit. And note that all the while, uh, while it was following my instructions, it had absolutely no signal. It simply waited until the specified time I told it had run out. Now we can reset it. No extra delay. We have no connection. We can do nothing. But now I'm doing everything I can to pitch up. But yeah. Go around, go around, go around. I'm gonna give a quick overview of the other functions uh, once we have a connection again. Which we will have soon. Yes, now. We have satellites. Ah, let's extend the dishes too. Not that we're gonna use them for anything, this is the only ship we have in the universe right now. Um, yeah, we have the regular prograde, it'll orient to prograde, and uh, retrograde, that's the opposite, uh, radial plus minus and uh, normal and anti normal. And up here we have the different, um, uh, the different, uh, well, what do you actually call them? Yeah, well, now we're in an orbital plane of reference, that's it. We can also put it in a surface plane of reference. That's good if you're controlling a, a plane, a space plane, for example. Or target relative, depending on whatever you have targeted. So you can do maneuvers to uh, intercept and to dock and so forth. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show you, I think play around with the rest as you like. It's a pretty neat thing, this flight computer. There are still a couple of small bugs in it, but all in all, it's good. So, this was me, and uh, thank you for your time.